Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing it. My name is Ashay and I'm 26 years old and I'm from Canada and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming here to watch this video. If you guys want to see how I did this real quick, keep watching. All right, guys, um, so the first thing I do when I'm doing an everyday makeup look is I do my brows first. I did do my brows, as you can see, um, I did them off camera. If you guys want me to do an eyebrow routine with you guys, let me know in the comment section or send me a DM. So I'm starting off on like fresh face. I will just wash my face and I moisturize and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna start off with the milk hydro grip primer it's very good like for people who have like kind of like dry skin i don't have dry skin but in the winter time my skin's disrespectful it can get real dry and flaky so i'm just like okay i have to use something a little bit more hydrating what i like about this um primer too it's like sticky like if you press your hands on your face it's sticky and that just makes me feel like my makeup's gonna last hella long because it's sticky. It could be mind over matter, but it works, so. Foundation that I'm using today is the Lancome Tinty Dal. This is my favorite foundation. This is um, in the colors 520 Suede W and 530 Suede C. This is my favorite foundation. I will try a million foundations and I always come back to this because it makes my foundation look like skin. Like, and that's what I always strive to do, like my makeup to look as natural as possible. And this is just E. Um, I only use two colors in the winter time. In the summertime, I'm normally just 530, but the winter time I'm slightly lighter. So I have to use 520, but just to like make sure it's still on the warm side, I use 530. Um, Technically 520 is a warm shade, but I don't know, it kind of shows up a little bit yellow on me, so I mix both of them together. So I start off with like one pump, one full pump of the 520. And then the 530, I use like such a small dot, like such a tiny dot, like the smallest dot. And I mix it together. And whatever's left, I just put on my face. I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. Um, this is the JH03 butt brush. It just it's just like a regular buffing brush. Don't judge me. Okay, it's a little dirty because I used it. Duh. Yeah, so I'm just buffing out what's already on my face. I'll be putting more on my face, but I'm just buffing out what's already in here. Also, too, when I'm um, putting on makeup, I like to focus on the areas that actually like need makeup. Like I put makeup, of course, all over my face, but the areas that need it the most, that's where I'm like, I don't know, that's where I put the most makeup. Is, am I saying that right? I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, so like I like to go underneath my eyes. Okay, the sides my cheeks and like around my mouth I feel like it's kind of dark there I have to get rid of these dark circles <laughs> honestly though these circles came because I don't get a lot of sleep and if you're trying to be cute you have to sleep when people used to say oh sleep when you're dead you'll die if you don't sleep so let's start there okay I'll sleep when I die the grind never stops, and you're not sleeping when you're dead. Dumb. These people are so dumb. Dumb and dumb. Anyways, I really went on a rant for some sleep. Anywho, I'm just buffing all over my face. So now I'm gonna go over my face with my wet sponge, with my beauty blender. Um, sometimes I get a little product happy and I put too much product on my face, so I'll, by blending out my face with my sponge it takes off excess makeup you know so now i'm going to use the born this way to uh nope two face born this way multi sculpting 
multi-use sculpting concealer in the color chestnut this concealer is bomb but um i don't know i only like to put a little bit because a little does go a long way with this concealer because it like blends out a lot so just just put a little and then i put some on my nose and then a little bit on my forehead maybe one dot on my chin that's it okay so with my sponge i'm just gonna blend out my concealer and i like to blend out both sides at the same time so i just go back and forth i'm not sure if it actually makes a difference i feel like it does i don't know i've just been doing this and i feel like it's working for me so but see like i only put like such a little bit underneath and it's covering a lot so don't be too heavy-handed with this concealer because it can get crazy unless that's the look you're going for but i'm usually not going for that type of look so that I was using earlier from my foundation I'm just gonna buff out like the edges of the concealer because sometimes well for me specifically if I don't like there's like this little weird halo um, when I'm taking pictures and I don't like that I do not like that look it's not cute <laughs> contour my face with the Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color Espresso. This is my favorite, my favorite contour stick. This is my favorite contour stick. I've tried a lot of contour sticks and I find a lot of them are my skin tone. So who, who, they're like contour stick. Contour stick for black girls, promise. And it's my skin tone. It's my foundation color. I can't. But yeah, so I like to go, like follow the natural shape of my nose. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Um, I got this brush from Walmart. It's so bomb. I think I got it for like 10 bucks or something. <laughs> like when I'm blending out my contour I'm going in an upward motion and then I kind of bring it up to like the side of my forehead a little bit and then bring it back down with my elf contouring brush I blend out my nose contour and I like to take my time and do this because it's such a small area like the contour is such a small area, so it's like, it's really easy to mess up. I'm gonna go back over it with my sponge, just to blend out the sharp lines. I'm gonna go back into my concealer um, that's underneath my eyes and just blend out any area that might have creased while I was doing other parts of my face because I'm about to set this, these areas. So I'm gonna go back over my nose as well and my forehead and my chin. So I'm gonna set my, found my concealer with this Laura Mercier Puff, Velour Puff. Okay, this puff is the bomb. It distributes your setting powder very evenly like on the face. Like everything is very even, very nice very much so very nice very even I'm gonna dip the velour puff into my setting powder I use the Sasha buttercup and it's banana yellow and then the Laura Mercier setting powder and I mix it together this is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the color medium deep using my velour puff I I patted it in there and then I'm going to put it With the excess, I go underneath my contour. Okay, and then also my laugh line. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just using this uh, brush. I don't know what this brush is called. I got this from a friend like years ago. Um, she got this set for me from a bunch of makeup brushes from Walmart. If you can get something small and round like this, I'm just like taking off the setting powder because it sometimes when you're using the puff, it goes in areas that you don't want it to because it's big. Okay, and then I'm going on my nose. I'm using the Real Techniques powder brush, and this is two, number 201. It's just a face powder brush, and I'm using the Max Studio Fix Press Powder in the color NW50 to brush away setting powder, okay? <laughs> baby um, kilowatt by Fenty Beauty uh, in my inner corners on my nose and that's it that's all I put um, yeah you see this right here you see yeah exhibit a my mother she dropped it she's like she that looks so nice on your feet oh, can I can I can I use some? Yes, because I'm such a nice daughter. I'm so obedient. I'm very disciplined. I said, Mom, of course. And this is what happens. Right here. You see that? Why do I hear the bottom of the pan? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. So yeah, so I'm going to highlight. I just like to put it on the inner corners of my eye and a little bit on my nose. Just like a tiny bit. I'm gonna be using the Mented Cosmetic Ashley Blaine Featherson collab. This is a bronzer and highlight duo. This is in the color season two. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so nice. It's such a pretty color. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Canada, but honestly, it's looking real close to Fenty Beauty's uh, Mocha Mami. I mean, I shouldn't say it's the same. Like uh, Rihanna's bronzer is a little bit more red. And I feel like this one's a little bit more um, balanced. Like Rihanna's bronzer is like very red. And then this one is just like a mixture of, of warm and cool. Like, well, that's how it shows up on me. And I love it. I love it. So I'm using also, oops, sorry. Oops, sorry, y'all. Um, I'm using the angled brush. Hold on. Angled blush brush by e.l.f. E.l.f. Sponsor me. Because I'm putting, I'm putting so many people on. But anyways, by e.l.f., um, it's for blush, but I like it to, I like to use it for my bronzer. So, bringing back some hydration to the face, because my face is looking hella dry, got all of that powder and yada yada yada. So, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'll be using the MAC Pinch Me Blush. It's like a very, like a warm, like a warm pink. Um, this is my favorite blush. This is also my only blush. <laughs> Hence why it's my favorite, because I don't have any more to compare to. It's, I don't know, it's nice, and it like shows up on my skin very pretty, like very soft. So this is my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. My Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the color Fenty Glow. And my lip liner in by MAC. Uh, called chestnut. I'll be using that to align my lips. And then I'm putting on my Fenty Gloss. And then I'm putting my NYX Butter Gloss. The Madeline Gloss. To top all of that, I'll be putting on my Ruby Kisses Gloss. It's just a clear gloss I got from the hair store. Last but not least, put on some mascara. Okay, no, that's too risky, can't do it. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and it's the, in the color, it's black is black. You can get it from Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart. So I'm gonna go, you know, put on the final touches of this look <laughs> and I'll be back. All right, y'all, this is the final look. I just put a head wrap on and, you know, a little mock turtleneck shirt or whatever. And I'm giving you 
very artsy chic. Poetic justice. You're welcome. I'm joking. <laughs> Share this video with everyone and anyone that you know. Um, share with your mom, your grandmama, your homegirl, your sister, your fiance, your girlfriend, like your wife. Just share it with everybody. Like anybody that's trying to be cute. Like don't be a hater. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm recording. Huh? I'm recording. That's what I want my hair to look. No. This woman told me there's pizza like 20 times. Like, I can't. They love to bother me when I'm recording. <laughs> no. You came too far down. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I never told you to come here. Annoying. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is so ghetto. Anyways. <laughs>